Hello, my name is Chani and I will introduce you how to use this RFID RC522. So if you get RFID set, you will get these three things, but we will not use uh, these two keys. Uh, I will talk about how to connect with Arduino, so we will use it later. And this RFID RC522 uh, has 8 pins on here, as you can see, but we will use just uh, 7 of them. So, let's, I will show you how to connect it. So, let I will show you how to connect it. Uh, before all, this uh, RFID uh, uses uh, SPI which has an uh, enormous pin and um, more than you know, like I to scarcity uh, but it is more fast so I think this uh, RFID use uh, this SPI to communicate with the Arduino so what about let's connect it yeah, like dividing hop and then we will connect it first there is SDA pin on your left side and in Arduino we will use digital 10 and then we, there is the SCL clock and we will use for digital 13 and then there is M O S I and we will use this uh, for digital 11 and then there is a M I S O and we will just connect it to digital 12 and then we there is a IRQ pin but we will not connect it and next there is ground and as you know we will just connect it to ground and last two, we will connect our ST for digital 9. And last, uh, there is no space. We will just connect 3.3 volt on 3.3 volt. So, it is power. So that's all you have to connect data 10, clock 13, MOSI 11, MISO 12. We will not connect IRQ and ground to ground the RST to digital 9 and 3.3 voltage to 3.3 voltage. So, if but however, you connect this to 5 voltage, this RF5D chip will be die and. You can change it on program uh, this this pin and this pin, these two pins, but these two pins, but you can't change these three pins. Uh, these pins for use the uh, uh, basic SPI uh, communication. So these three pins are. Selected before on factory when making the Arduino, so you can't change these three pins, but you can change this SDA data pin and this RST pin. So let's connect it. So let's connect it. Uh, first of all, SDA on here, and I will connect it to digital 10, and then 
it's clock I will connect this on digital 13 and you can't change this pin and then MOSI on third pin and I will put it to 11 and then fourth pin is MISO and we will connect to it digital 12 and then insert and then we will now connect to this IRQ pin and we will connect this ground pin I will just put it black to look easy and then we will connect Mm, RST pin on seventh and pin nine. Okay, we connected it, and then we will connect lastly 3.3 voltage on 3.3 voltage. If you connect this on 5 voltage, this will be die, and that's all you have to connect. I will show you a little bit on in this about this our this card. Uh, there is a keychain, but we will. I will use. Yeah, you can use this, but I will show you this to look inside. I will put the flashlight on the under here, so I will turn on. And as you can see, you can see the antenna on here. And you can see the chip on here and this with this uh, RFID the uh, RC522 will read this card. Um, before starting program I will talk to you about how to use there some information in this uh, key. So uh, it, this keys there is many kind of keys but in if you get the RFID set you will get one kilobyte um, memory so in this card you it has a one kilobyte memory in here uh, so let's talk about these things but there is this uh, I will just write it there is a 16 sector and four blocks on each sector and this is one block and this one block has um, 16 byte so if you multiply these numbers you know 4 2 square 4 2 square 4 2 square 2 and you can multiply it and you can get to square 10 and this will be just one kilobyte and um, but however you know like I will talk about more things so it is layout so of this RFID there is a, if I scroll down it you can see the 16th and just uh, we write uh, 15, 16 uh, sector and this blocks and on each block there is sector trailer uh, RFID is used in many cases so it needs is uh, secure and like uh, so I don't know I spelled right but uh, for security, so this in this uh, block it has uh, it has many like key on here. Key there is key A, and there is uh, uh, access bit. Uh, and lastly, it has key B. 
so on each sector, sector 1, sector 0, sector 1, sector 1, and goes down in sector 15, on each there has some security information on fourth block. So if you want to use, if you want to read the data, if you want to write the data, you first have to unlock this block, one block. But I, uh, it can be same keys on here, on here, on here. But it can be also different on here, on here, on here. So if you want to see this data, I like on sector one, block number one, you have to unlock this sector trailer of sector one. So if you unlock this and you can use this information. So in factory, you know like in I will show you the Wait a minute, scroll down a little bit. Uh, yeah, as you can see on this uh, block 3, as I told, there is a key A and access uh, uh, B10, there is a uh, uh, key B. But uh, you, I will not use this key B, we will use this just key A. So I will scroll down a more and uh, uh, I'll first uh, to tell you about the factory. So if you get the, uh, if you get some card or ID card in in the factory, you will get this, and then I will just and on key A, it is. Uh, F, 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 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and more F. And 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, 6, yes, right. This is his, uh, uh, like, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so it has uh, 16 F, so it is your key, mm, wait a minute, yeah, so it is your key, so uh, we will, it is uh, made in factory, so you can change it, but in my tutorial I will just uh, read and write uh, with this key A, but we will not change this key A. So you have to know that your key A is F F F F F F F F. And this is the access bit of zero 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 one. And what this means that this last uh, sector is trailer sector so if you want to see the trailer sector and what is in it you have to know the access bit and you can put the key on here uh, I will show you why uh, last one is a zero zero one it means this this one so you can never read the key A you must know it before so I wrote down on here and you can't read it but you can write with key A read the condition on key A write the condition key A read the with key A and write on key A so you can do anything with key A so I'll just talk about this key A but if you read it read the card information uh, in part of a QA there is just a full of zeros because we can't we cannot read this with key we can never read this key so you must have to know key before so let's keep going uh, and so and this 
quite blank. Uh, so you know TA and you can know that you can open anything and with key A, you can write anything, any information with key A. So um, you can write anything on sector three. Ah, uh, no, block three, and on uh, on data on uh, on uh, block of data, not data tr sec not trailer. You you can so that it is just. Uh, Zero zero zero, and you can read and write and doing anything you can want in with key A. So we know that we can use anything with key A. So I will use this blank. So first, you have to three thing before you start. First, you have to uh, initialize it. Uh, in in it, I will just write uh, in it uh, RFID, and then you have to authenticate it. Without this authenticate, you cannot do anything. You must uh, authenticate the sector trailer with this key. And then you can read or write. So we will go on this three step, initialize it, and then we will use this full of F key to authenticate. And then we will read and write and doing anything you want on date uh, on block. On here, wait a minute. On yes, on here this on here these blocks. So you can use on sector. So it is just block number one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, sorry, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then it goes on. And the, so if you can um, use your data block on this three, this three, this three, and this three, and goes on, but on first sector, it is uh, it has uh, block zero, it has a manufacturer code, so you cannot use this for. Uh, data block. So you can use these two, you can use these three, 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 and it goes up. But you can't use sector trailer because it has key A and many things of security. So that's all, and I will start programming. Um, I connected the, this Arduino with my computer, and I will talk about how to program it. So let's keep going. So there is, you first have to install your library. So if you open your library manager and you can find the, uh, you can uh, put RC522 and you can find the MFRC22 by GitHub community. So you can install it. I installed it. And I will use the little bit examples and I will use program that I changed from examples. So let's talk about this dump info. So this uh, RSD pin we connect, we will include this to library and we will connect this uh, to RSD pin to 9 and we put SS it means just SDA as you can see on here so it, it has the same means but a minute so I we connect it on here and we create the instance on here so and then we start serial 
and we will start SPI and we will start initialize the uh, RFID and it will dump the version dump version of its uh, RFID reader and then it print yeah you know, like we will find the many thing and then it means just uh, it is it this uh, function will show returns one if it find uh, new card so normally it will if I con do not put any cards on reader it will show zero and because of zero this mm, will change to number to one so it will just return to uh, return so it will go out and come back and go out and come back but if you we put this RFID card on reader uh, this change on one so it will change to zero and it will not um, take return it will just skip and skip this so lastly we can find this we can just write this one line and uh, in this case uh, very specially this dump to serial you don't have to write key on only this case you don't have to write key it will just dump the information of of uh, like a made in factory so it will just write key of you know, like FFFF by itself so you can just see uh, you can just uh, write this and then you can see the information but in this case you must it uh, this card is cards you know, like key access bit and uh, key has to be key A has to be like all F and that it will open it so I uploaded it so I will turn on my serial monitor and it shows the version of and I will just put this card on here and it will show you enormous information but you don't have you must not take off this card until this is all read it so I will put this and this will show us enormous information and 610 and that's all and we can find how on sector trailer on key uh, you can find on sector trailer 3 and all sector trailers you can find the key A is all zero it is because I, t I told you that you can't read you can't read anything about mm, uh, about key A so you must know it so this six twelve zeros are all F so it can read it so I talked about dump info and I will talk about next thing so let's start to talk about how to really read uh, the data from this uh, RFID card uh, before I dumped all data to serial but you really need some uh, only piece of data from RFID so I will show you how to really read it and save it so you can include these two and you can set a pin and then you declare instance of key and your uh, RFID reader and then you begin begin initialize and then put key on key byte for all F to 12 F's and then you start checking your card is new and it has a serial and then you will declare the block where to read so it can be 0 to Mm, uh, 63 and you can choose any of a block except the sector trailer and zero so you can select to 
uh, you can't select zero and um, and um, for example three seven eleven and uh, block of a sector trailer so you can choose the data block you want to read and then you have to choose uh, the trailer sector trailer of that block so in this sector it has a four five six seven so I choose this block four but you have to choose also choose the trailer block to authenticate this so you there is before there is security on here so you first have to open this security so this uh, to open your security you must uh, choose where to unlock on where to open this security so that part is seven so you have to first you want to open four but first you have to open seven and then it will open four so I so on one block I said there is 16 byte but I wrote 18 byte I'll, I will show you why uh, it is just because data is 16 and I didn't use it but normally people check uh, uh, things that RF, RFID uh, reader is really worked so they checks the uh, state uh, status it really works so two bytes are plus this so on first 16 byte it will show you the it will just show you about uh, data but last two byte it will show the status of your RFID but I will not use I will use 16 but if I use write 16 on here it, it means uh, smaller uh, smaller uh, on smaller part yeah like you are pouring enormous information and this uh, ball will go out and it will work uh, not correctly yeah incorrectly so I wrote 18 on here and then you can use the size of and you check the size so it, it means just uh, um, 16 and sorry sorry 18 so and then we authenticate it this is authenticating part so your instance PCD authenticate with key 1 and trailer block number 7 and then its keys address of all F and then UID's address and it, if it is worked you can open the security of sector 1 and then you can access on block 4 on in uh, in sector 1 there is a block 4 5 6 7 so if you open 7 you can use 4 and then you can read it it is really easy just to write to your instance and then read it with your block address and buffer and size but not just the size you have to write the address on here and then dump byte array it is just uh, it is just a uh, function that is made on in this bottom so it is just to write uh, it will get buffers uh, address and um, check the size and then it will use 4 and then if uh, it is uh, smaller than 10 it will show you 0 and number and if it is bigger than 10 it will just show you nothing and it will print it with X and then that 
if you print it uh, you can halt it it means if you do not halt it it is it is loop loop so it will go and go and go and in check in uh, very long and, and all and every bullet second so you have to stop and then this is just uh, making security um before authenticating you open the security door of sector one but using this function you are closing down this sector one so other people can't use it so and that's all you need to and uh, I will unload it and then my Arduino is unloaded wait a minute yes it is unloaded and I will show you it is really works I will start serial monitor okay and I will put this card on my RFID so yes it is showed it shows the, the, the 16 byte of the block 4 so it is authenticated and you can see the number on here and that's all you and so you can use a buffer variable and you can just use it and check and find it correct and using for anything you want so let's talk about how to really write the data so it is really same oh same same but it is start different on here so it is it has a block address on here so it is just a four but you have to choose the data to put uh, put your data in so it is one two three uh, this number can be changed by anything you want but I just write one two three four five six seven eight nine a b c d e f and that's you know, all 16 uh, number so it will write on this uh, block number 4 so if you want to open block 4 you have to first open sector 1 so if you want to open sector 1 you have to write uh, you have to open your sector trailer and it is number 7 so it authentic Authenticate it is same using a trailer block key and UID of address and then you can write it with block address number four data block number uh, one two three and it is just information and then it is all 16 uh, byte and then uh, that's all and I just uh, write success hallelujah and then you can halt and you can shutting down the security door uh, that you authenticated it. So I will unload it on my Arduino and look it really works. So it is unloading. So yes it is unloaded and I will put this RFID card on here yes it is written and if you do not use halt it will keep on going but if you, uh, but I use the halt so it will not loop so I will start my serial monitor yes and it said authenticating and writing and it is success so uh, let's check it is really written to one two uh, F uh, on block 4 I will use jump info it is it is on the example so it is uh, unloading it yes it is unloaded and then we will open the serial monitor and let's see if it really works yes this is sector 1 block 4 and here is one, two, F, and it really worked. And you can see it is written correctly on you know, like byte uh, zero two. Yeah.
15. So, yes, it is written. So you how to read, know how to read and write. So you, I will just show you how to write your personal data on the block, one block, and read it, read the personal data from one block. So it is, I change, I modified the, the, some things on um, the example. So it is all same on here, but on here you must uh, declare, uh, I will just uh, write on block four and it is its trailer block is seven. And I declare variable length with byte and I declare the buffer for 16. If you read, the data you must write in 18 but if you write the data you can just write on like this so and then you print uh, you know, type anything and in here uh, you can write a serial available so if it is a zero it will show you and it will change it to one and it will stuck in this while but if you if this available is one, yes, it is really available and it will turn to zero and it will, it will pop out from this while. And then it is, it shows the, it will get the length from zero read byte until uh, this uh, uh, read, if uh, you know, like, I can write the uh, anything on zero, but you must type it without any space because it has space it will go very different and it will go wrong so you must write it without space and then you must write this character ending with this and then uh, you can write variable of your where to store your information from uh, serial but as you know just writing buffer is array so if you write just buffer its name and it is just address of buffer variable so you have to put asterisk and uh, I casted it with a character and asterisk and its length is uh, I will use just a 16 and so it will save uh, the letter it is if I wrote 16 letters it will be no wrong but if I wrote just five letter um, other 11 letters will be uh, spaced to there is nothing on there so you have to declare uh, after the length so you can write the space on there and it will save the ASCII code of uh, the space and it will save on each byte so you can write uh, 16 letter up to 16 letter on one block but if you have to if you want to write more information and you have to change the block and then authenticate with key a trailer block 7 and its address and then you can write it with uh, block address and buffer it is and really same like before and it is success, hallelujah, and then I will halt and I will close the door of security and I will unload it. So, on my Arduino, it is unloading. Yes, it is unloaded and I will put this on here and then I will show you zero monitor yes uh, as you can see uh, type anything without uh, space so I will just write uh, GGS is king and it is smaller than 16 letter so I will send it to my Arduino and it is authenticating and it is written and hallelujah and I will just get out of card and then on here it is 
this uh, RFID block 4 it has ASCII code of Jesus is King and I will show you how to read it so let's talk about how to read it it's the same uh, write thing, write key and check it, new card and then block 4 and trailer block 7 but on buffer if you read you have to write 18 but if you write the information you can type like this but if in this case we are reading data and it will get the information of the state for 2 bytes so it, it have to be 18 and then I will get the size of 18 and then we will authenticate with key A and trailer block and things like that and address and then we will read it from blog address and it is number 4 and it will check it will save it on buffer and it's uh, with its size so it is saved on yeah, variable buffer so I will just uh, write the information with the zero usually I wrote a zero print but in the case in this case I wrote uh, buffer uh, uh, variable but and this write because in this serial write if you write just a number of ASCII code and it will change to character so if you write 65 it will just show you A so it can change automatically to uh, uh, to letter character of I wrote so it will change the number to character and then I will halt and I will shut down the security and then I unload it and it really shows yeah let's see it really show it so I will pop up our serial monitor and it will show you nothing unless you put your card on here so I will put card on here as best I could yes and it shows the data yes we can find that on this RFID card in block 4 yeah, like I wrote Jesus is king and it will show you it is just a num full of number of ASCII code but it will change it to character with serial write and yeah that's all you can write your personal information and you can read it and uh, and that's all I think uh, we need to control RFID so you can check and doing many things like locker or door opener or, and you can use them many place if you want and thank you for watching